One year ago, the good people of Ogun State committed their mandate to an individual. It was a commitment based on trust, confidence and hope. Sworn in on the 29th of May 2011 at the MKO Abiola Stadium, Abeokuta, Senator Ibikunlia Musun came into office on the platform of a track record of true servanthood as he had been tried and tested in the provision of dividends of democracy for his constituency right from when he served as a senator and even as a philanthropist. He came with a mission to rebuild Ogun State using a five-point cardinal program. He wasted no time in unfolding his plans. Ogun State has seen tremendous changes during this short period of time. As such, the drums were rolled out to celebrate the one year in office of the Executive Governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikunle Oluwa Toin Oyelaja Amusu. Preparatory to the events lined up to mark the one year in office, the Executive Governor of Ogun State, Senator Ibikunle Amusu, visited all the 20 local government areas in the state, thanking the people for their support as well as taking stock of what had been done and what was yet to be done. This was followed by town hall meetings organized in all the three senatorial districts in the state. This was from the 21st to the 23rd of May 2012. The first port of call was Ogun West Senatorial District, followed by Ogun Central, and lastly, Ogun East. The town hall meetings afforded the governor an opportunity to give account of his stewardship to the people who gave him their mandate. It was also another good opportunity for the people to rub minds with the governor. At all the senatorial districts, the people used the occasion to also entertain the governor and his entourage with their rich cultural heritage. His Excellency, Senator Ibukule Amosu. During the visit to the three senatorial districts, the governor commissioned many developmental projects as well as inspected some that were still ongoing, while also laying foundation stones for new ones. Among the tasks performed were commissioning of the Ojuore Ota Ilogo Road in Ota, commissioning of the access road to the new industrial park and technology incubation center, the commissioning of the road leading to Owu Mosque. Commissioning of a road at Kwari Surileri Itaeko Bypass. Commissioning of OGBC Onikolobo Bypass Road. And the Sam Ewang Estate Road was also commissioned. The governor also carried out an inspection of the Ojagbangba Bridge under construction at Ijaye. Inspection of the Isalia Bese Bridge as well as the commissioning of the Irene Lesser Shaije Road. The governor also performed the foundation laying ceremony of a model school in each of the three senatorial districts in the state. This he did in Ilaru for Ogun West, Ijewode for Ogun East, and Abeokuta for Ogun Central. A modern classroom block at African Church Grammar School, built by old students of the school, was also commissioned by Governor Amosun. Senator Ibikunle Amosun also laid the foundation of the mechanic garage at Obadaoko to set in motion the fulfillment of a promise he made to the people. Another feat that Governor Ibikunle Musun has been able to achieve in a time span of less than a year is the construction of the six-lane Ibarai Itaeko Shokuri Totoro Road in Abeokuta. This headliner project, which was completed earlier than scheduled, was one of those commissioned as part of activities to mark the first year in office of this administration. The people came out en masse to witness this historic event. Speaking at the occasion, the governor appreciated all dignitaries and promised not to relent in his efforts to make life better for the people of the Gateway State. And there's something that we have picked up now from those that have served before us, and that is to open up all our rural roads 
Chief Oshoba did wonderfully well in opening up so many of these, our rural roads. So we want to do that, we want to follow suit, not just only what he did on these, our cosmopolitan roads. We will in turn, as well as doing all our major cities, we will now find a way to open up so many of our rural areas so that at least economy will be building up there, their commerce will increase significantly. After the official commissioning of the road, there was a ride on the new mass transit assisted buses provided by the state government on the road. Songs and dance by the good people of Ogun State characterized the event. Also, as part of activities marking the one-year anniversary, a breakfast meeting was held with top executive partners of the state government on the 24th of May, 2012. This meeting was an avenue to say thank you and to encourage the partners into partnering more with the state. I want to thank all of us and to reassure you that as government, we, we, we know that this is not uh, something that government can do. We don't have business, as they say, in saying we want to do the business by ourselves. Ours is to create the enabling environment so that once that is done, of course, we will encourage people to come and invest in, in Ogun State, and by extension, they will create wealth for our people, our people will be gainfully employed, our economy will blossom, our commerce will improve. That is what we seek to achieve. Senator Amusun also charged some of the partners, especially indigents of Ogun State, to choose areas in which they can give back to their society as proud sons and daughters of the Gateway State. In fulfillment of the promises made when voted into office, the state government on the 25th of May 2012 took delivery of 500 electricity transformers. Thus, as part of the activities marking the governor's one year in office, these transformers were commissioned and distributed to the good people of Ogun State to boost electricity supply. The event, which took place at the arcade ground Okemosa, had in attendance members of the State Executive Council, Royal Fathers and dignitaries from within and outside the country. In his welcome address, the Honorable Commissioner for Special Duties outlined the fact that without electricity, the five-point cardinal program of the Senator Ibikunlia Musung administration may not be met. The purchase of the transformers, which was under the purview of the Commissioner for Special Duties, is also part of the actualization of the new policy by the federal government, wherein the state government can now generate power internally. There were goodwill messages from different dignitaries at the occasion. It is very important and we are very proud to take part in it. Thank you very much. While addressing the gathering, Governor Ibikunle Amusun reiterated the importance of power to any nation and the commitment of his administration to better the lot of his people in this very important area. He also said that the purchase of the transformers was aimed at attracting investors to the state. We equally intend to use today's event to primarily promote investment and industrial development in our different parts of our state. We believe this will provide and promote the ambience needed for development of small and medium-scale enterprises in connection with our administration empowerment program. In his address, the Honorable Minister of Power, Professor Bart Naji, through his representative, expressed delight at the efforts of the Ogun State Government to collaborate with the federal government in providing energy for the people of the state. The dividends of the effort of this dynamic state government would greatly enhance quality of power supply and service delivery at all the communities that are to benefit from this laudable initiative. While assuring you that my ministry will do all it can to support you in making the best use of the transformers, I would like to call on the public 
to assist in protecting power infrastructure away from vandalization. There was a display of solar panels as an alternative source of electricity at the event. This was followed by the commissioning and distribution of the transformers to benefiting local government areas. Power comes from God. It is thus only proper to acknowledge His grace during such celebrations. Thus, a Jumat service was held at the Abirkuta Central Mosque on the 25th of May 2012, where prayers were said for the governor, the people, and the state. The Jumat prayers had in attendance Governor Ibikunlia Musum, the First Lady, Mrs. Olufunshoa Musum, the Deputy Governor, Prince Shegun Aideshegun, top government officials of the Gateway State, royal fathers from the three senatorial districts, as well as a host of sons and daughters of Ubun State. The governor took time to appreciate God and the people of Ogun State and asked for their prayers to enable him to do more. In a similar vein, the governor and the first lady were also at the Cathedral Church of St. Peter's on the 27th of May 2012 for a thanksgiving service. It was a time for singing, dancing and celebration as the people thanked God for a fruitful year. The governor took a reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 13 from verse 1 to the end. In his sermon, the pastor encouraged Ogun State indigents to walk more in love. Prayers were offered for the governor, the people, and the state. <laughs> In his address, the governor enjoined the people not to relent in their prayers for the state in general. Why are we here? We are here really to thank God, especially to God that does all things for one. We cannot be where we are without the benevolence of the Almighty Lord. Of course, we are here to thank God and to seek for further prayer and guardians, divine guardians from the God Almighty. And secondly, to thank all the good people of the state. You give us the assignment that we are doing. So, I think of us like this will come and thank you. And listen to you well and what you think you are doing well and do that you think you can do otherwise. That same Sunday, May 27th, was also International Children's Day. As such, it was celebrated in grand style as part of the one-year anniversary celebration in Ogun State. This is more especially because of the commitment of his administration to the future of the young ones. Students and pupils gathered in their numbers at the MKO Abiola Stadium, Abeokuta. The executive governor of Ogun State and his wife, the deputy governor and his wife, many other top government officials, parents, guardians, the pupils and students themselves, as well as their teachers, graced the occasion. One of the high points of the day was when students and pupils of all the public schools in Ogun State received a school bag each from the state government. 
This is yet another promise that has been kept by Senator Ibikunlea Musu. The main celebration of Democracy Day was done at the June 12 Cultural Center at Beokuta. Before the event, care was taken to see that the center was made ready to host the memorable occasion. The Commissioner for Special Duties was always on hand to ensure its realization. On D-Day, Tuesday the 29th of May 2012, the center was filled to capacity with citizens of the Gateway State who had come to celebrate the leadership style of the Executive Governor, Senator Ibikunlea Musu. While addressing the people at the occasion, the Executive Governor explained what had been done so far and what was in the offing for the citizens of Ogun State in the next three years of his tenure. To round up the various events marking the one-year anniversary of this administration, a dinner party was organized that attracted the presence of different dignitaries from within and outside the state. The chairman of the one-year anniversary committee, Commissioner for Health, Dr. Olaukum Shuinka, stated the reason for the event. I think it's traditional, this royal dinner, to mark the end of a first year in office to celebrate uh, a productive year of work. But I would like to think that tonight is actually a celebration. It's a celebration of the coming of the second year of the administration of Senator Ibikoli Amosu. Because if you think he's done well so far, then I would just like to say you ain't seen nothing yet. The governor was the perfect host as he went round tables to welcome guests to the event. There was comedy to entertain the guests. <laughs> 